strength in the kingdom, what we call strength in the kingdom, is the ability to sustain spiritual realities. I have come to discover that the earth is the only living entity that has the capacity to handle spiritual seed and physical seed. So, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, or oh, this is the first seed God put into the earth. And it was a spiritual seed. And what spiritual seed is that? It was a declaration of words. So the Bible says in the book of Genesis that when Cain killed Abel and God met Cain, one of the things God told Cain was that the land, the land or the earth has received the blood of your brother and it is crying out. It is giving witness. The first witness on earth of judgment and blessing is the earth. That is why the first thing to even taste the blood of Jesus was the earth. Sir, sir, sir. That is why even traditionally, do you know, if you carry your equipment right now, I say you are going to do a galaxy in the land, one of the advice they will give you is that go and meet the elders of the land and do some rituals before the land will accept you. It is a spiritual thing because the land has a spiritual life that believers take for granted said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that behold I have given you power then I have given you dominion God excluded himself from the governance of the earth and the heavens so this thing you see called the earth is not just a scientific thing but it is a spiritual entity that has life and the people who can take advantage of it will favor them so God spoke to the earth and God also expects the people who are representatives or who are his photocopy to follow that same biblical precedence by speaking to the earth. The earth is a living thing. It has the capacity to hear. It has the capacity to open its mouth. It has a womb. It has the capacity to record things against people. Do you know that the earth and the heavens are in a falling state? Otherwise, the Bible will not talk about then behold, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The earth and the heaven are in a foreign state. They are corrupted by the introduction of sin. So the earth, which is supposed to produce good things to man, is now producing tongues and thistles. That is why man has the capacity to dominate and speak to the earth for the earth to produce good things for man. You can be born again and the devil will still be slapping you. Because you don't understand supernatural elements. He said, just say the Lord, right here, that this man, childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days. Jeremiah is speaking by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Why didn't Jeremiah say the heavens will not prosper you? Jeremiah is trying to tell the person by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost that the earth has the capacity to make a man childless. So a lot of people are childless because the earth has incapacitated them. That a man should not prosper in his days. No man of his seed shall prosper. Now it goes generational. So the earth has now become a recording device. It has heard the word of the Lord and put it down as an archives in the spirit. So three down generations down the line a man rises by name Eric. The man wants to lift up his head. He cannot lift up his head because there is a record against him that you cannot prosper that the seed from where you are coming from you are a product of the seed and the seed is a mandated to fail then that man comes to a place where he's born again filled with the holy ghost and understand the mystery of the earth and begins to speak to the earth and say me i know i am a seed but by the word of the lord i reverse the curse yes lord I will prosper in my days. I declare the four corners of this nation, all the regions of this country, the north of Ghana, the south of Ghana, the east of Ghana, yes, Lord. the west of Ghana, yes, Lord. anywhere you go, hey. this earth, it will help you. Amen. I can't hear your amen. I say it will help you.